welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Home Bargains video coming to you from the salubrious surroundings of the Home Bargains car park. Why am I recording a video in the Home Bargains car park? Well, Natalie's got the kids this weekend. They're very good kids. They're really, really good kids. But at the end of the day, they're still kids. They're still quite loud. Three dogs, two kids, people in and out. No peace and quiet. I thought, do you know what I'll do? I'll record it in the car park before I go home. So as usual, I popped in for basically one thing and spent £34.85. If you are a person who is able to pop into Home Bargains for one thing and come out with one thing, I would love you to make a video on how that is done, like a tutorial. And I would watch that. And furthermore, I think everyone I know would watch that. We'd love to know how to do that because I have never successfully popped into home bargains and come out with the thing that i went in for and nothing else never in my whole life so yeah make a tutorial it'll go viral you'll be a megastar i did spend 34 pound 85 and this is what i spent it on randomly ran randomly randomly first up i bought this this is a kitchen solutions hanging bin bag holder and these are the things that pop on your cupboard door. so i'm looking at the receipt to try and work how much it was it was 2 pound 49 they hang on your cupboard door you hang on your cupboard door and you just pop a carrier bag into it to make a temporary bin so you can have a bin by your worktop when you're chopping stuff and they're all over TikTok at TikTok 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 they're all over TikTok at the moment um obviously the TikTok have not invented them they've been around forever and it's one of those things like you think that'd be handy that'd be handy so when I saw it in home bargains today I thought I will get one they're two pound forty nine just when I stand in there chopping veg or whatever and I can scrape all the bits straight into a bag because my kitchen bin is on the other side of the kitchen I suppose what a frugal person would have done is just move the bin closer didn't think of that until now still two pound forty nine later here we are next up the actual thing I went in for Garnier Nutris 3.6 deep reddish brown the same colour I have been putting on my hair for at least 10 years or more people always say oh I like your hair is it a different shade no it's the same one I think it just looks nicer in some lights or brighter when it's just been done or something like that but I use Garnier Nutris 3.6 deep reddish brown and I have used it for a very long time so that's what I went in for I remembered while I was there that we needed a new dishwasher cleaner they just hang finished ones they just hang on a hook so the, the hair dye by the way is about £4.45 if you're interested £4.75 these are how much was this one ninety nine. that's quite expensive isn't it you better make my dishwasher nice and fresh we haven't had a new one for a long time so I thought we'd better have one of those while I was at it Brillo pads I normally buy the home bargains they're not own brand because they don't say home bargains but you know I mean the off-brand ones they have ones that are just called soap pads and they're 89p but they were sold out of those so I've ended up with Brillo pads for one twenty nine. As far as I can tell, there is absolutely no discernible difference between the off-brand ones and Brillo pads. I've not noticed they last any longer, they, they go rusty just as quickly. If you use a Brillo pad and put it by the sink, the next day you've got a little pile of disintegrated rust and it doesn't seem to make any difference whether it's an on-brand or off-brand one. These were one, did I just say this, 129 for 10, so 12.9p each. They are the only thing that seems to be able to get the top of the cooker clean. Sellotape! I'm a reseller, I use a lot of sellotape. There's no, there really is no story behind this. 79p for four rolls, it's adequate tape. Two packets of dog chews, 99p in each packet. You get 20 in a packet and I got chicken and beef. As far as I can tell, dogs do not care what flavour you give them. As far as I can tell, they don't taste them. They seem to just suck it back, inhale it. I reckon, to be honest, if you x-rayed Buddy after he'd had a treat, you'd just see it inside him like a cartoon. You know when they x-ray him? animal on a cartoon and whatever it is is just sitting there in the stomach that's what it'd be in bed because I'm just, i swear he's not chewed anything for the last 10 years i've got a selection of masks um i want to have a bit of a pamper evening and i thought i would uh, do all the bits of me well i was surprised by all the bits of me that is now possible to do wait for it oh the dog is trying to slide off so at first i've got a sheet mask and it has a serum that you rub in afterwards this was only like 69p i think 79p 69p 100% biodegradable sheet mask that makes you look like a zombie when you've got it on. And then um, regenerating serum with vitamin C and hyaluronic... 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 Hyalur hyalur what is that word? Hyaluronic... Hyaluronic acid? It's got that in it. Anyway, vegan, in case I decide to eat it. I am being flippant. I realise that vegan people look for vegan products as well as food. I, I, I realise that. But um, yeah, apparently this is not made from animals, which quite glad to hear i mean i wouldn't have expected a face mask to be made from animals unless it was a gel one and then i suppose it might have had 
I don't know. Anyway, these are the weird ones. Not this one. That's just a foot mask. I've had those a hundred times before. That was 99p. These ones. O-M-G. Breast mask called Nice Melons. And Peachy Perfect bum mask. A breast mask and a bum mask. Now, bear, bear in mind. Nobody sees either of those parts of me. I, I, am, I am very much firmly not on the dating scene. The only person who sees me naked is me and the mirror. And the mirror doesn't like it very much. But I just thought they were hilarious when I was like, you can get a boob mask. It's enriched with hyaluronic, that stuff again, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and aloe vera, aloe vera extract with watermelon extract. It's hydrating, firming and nourishing. So I'm going to firm them and nourish them and hydrate them while I'm at it. It says, <laughs> give yourself a hydrating boost with the XBC firming breast mask. Formulated with watermelon extract, hyaluronic acid, I've said it that time, and vitamin E. This mask will leave your assets beautiful and bouncy. Use the printed sheet mask up to three times a week to keep your pair moisturised and smooth. If this leaves mine beautiful and bouncy, it's worked a damn miracle because they've not been beautiful or bouncy for many, many moons and they've got no intention of ever being it again, I don't think, without the aid of surgery. I thought I just thought it was funny. I thought I'd give it a go. It will be funny. Excuse me a second. That's all. That was not ringing to go. Where the heck are you? <laughs> Who is the parent here? Yeah. And the, so the breast mask, the miracle breast mask, and then the bum mask, which is enriched with collagen and retinol with peach oil extract and will smooth, hydrate and moisturise. Not sure it needs moisturising. I've not noticed it being particularly dry. I've gone down a road I did not want to go down here. Anyway, it says I can keep my booty peach perfect with the XBC smoothing bum mask. Formulated with peach oil extract, collagen and retinol, this mask will leave your booty soft and smooth. Use the printed sheet mask. I can't, it's a sheet mask? It looks just like two circles on the picture at the back. I can't open it in the car to have a look, can I really? I'll dry out. But it will, if I use it up to three times a week, it'll keep my cheeks sweet as a peach. I don't know which marketing guru came up with these, and I doubt very much that they do absolutely anything to help your booze or your bum, but I did think entertainment value. They were 99p each. I thought it'd be worth buying them just to show you guys and have a giggle. I got 40 handy bags, which are just um, bin liners, basically. Tie-handled bin bags. It made me, made me laugh because it says on there, does all the jobs your old shopping bag used to. In other words, you know when you come and go with your carrier bag and use it as a bin liner. <laughs> so yeah, um, just just bin liners. And that's basically to go in my hangy bin liner thing of me, isn't it? And then a pack of slide zip freezer bags because we're out of freezer bags. We've got some small ones, but we're out of the medium size. These are 79p. The handy bags, by the way, I think they were, I don't know how much they were. They were 79p as well. So these are 79 and so were the other bags, 79p. I really liked this. I don't need it, but I really like the pattern. It's a kind of a pink animal print pattern. It is a little planner. I'm not a planner person. I keep trying to be a planner person, but I'm just not naturally a planner person, but it's a really nice little planner. And I thought the pattern was really nice. So I suckered into that and I, the, I couldn't find a price for it and my plan was to ask the price when I got to the till and I didn't remember to do that and now I don't know how much I paid for it. 2 dollars I won't die for the loss of 2 dollars on something I didn't need will I? This is how I end up spending 36 quid on on stuff I didn't know I wanted. I got some raisins for packed lunches, my packed lunches, I don't have kids, um, just because I thought they're 41, 47 calories for a little box and something a little bit different and at least it's a healthy snack you know so those are 89p i think were you 89p do you know 89p for 10 packets i realize that's a really expensive way of buying raisins don't come at me in the comments saying you could just buy a bigger bag. I, I know i could buy a big bag of raisins and portion them up and i also know that i probably wouldn't bother so there we go this was the only other thing i went in for i went in for hair dry hair dye and toothpaste this is the white glow. As far as I am aware, it makes absolutely no damn difference to my teeth. My teeth are awful, always have been, and probably always will be. But it also comes with a free toothbrush, and since I needed a new toothbrush, I thought I might as well. So that's $1.99. This one is coffee and tea stain remover. I don't drink coffee and tea, but I wondered if it might also help to remove Pepsi Max stains, maybe. $1.99 for that. A kitchen storage basket. This is a fruit and veg storage keep, and I've got a couple of these that come from M&S. I didn't buy them from M&S, I got them from the charity shop, but they're actually really good. But I thought I could do with another one. So basically it has an air vent and it has a removable colander that comes inside it. And what that does is any moisture that comes out of the fruit and veg sits in the base instead of sitting on the fruit and veg. That's supposed to keep it fresher for longer. The ones I've got do work quite well. I mean, they didn't work well enough to keep my melon fresh that I completely forgot about because it was behind six other things. And when I got it out, it was just a horrible green mould. But apart from that, they do work quite well. So um, that was 
249 I think yeah 249 and I thought it was worth investing in another one of those last couple of bits cheese seriously strong original tasty squares made with scottish cheddar i think it's cheese spread yeah cheese spread we didn't have any cheese i wanted it to do cheese spread just not just a lump of cheese so we didn't have a cheese spread in the fridge and this is 41 calories per little cube so i thought the fact that it's a nice strong one means that even though you might not have much you'll get a decent amount of flavor it's quite expensive though i thought 109 quite a lot of money really you get eight of those little cubes and they're not huge so i think that's more expensive than like dairy lee or whatever isn't it very very glamorous plug hole on blocker for the kitchen sink our little thing that stops the the the, the actual sink plug we've got one of those sinks where you turn it you pull it up and turn it and then the water drains out but it, but the catch-all thing stops all the bits going down well, it's broken, so you, we can only have it out completely, and then there's a big hole, and all of the bits are going down, and our drain is not our drain is not enjoying that. Could this? I tell you what, it's glam, 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 glam. Last couple of bits are some Milky Ways for Natalie. It's her birthday in a couple of weeks. She loves Milky Ways, so they just go into her things to open. She hasn't got much to open because um, for her birthday she's got tickets to go and see six and a hotel stay and so that means there's not a lot to open on the actual day. So I got some Milky Ways. I got a bag for her ice skates. And I got her this, which is bath bombs, because she loves a bath bomb. That's it. That is the haul and all of the haul from the car, from the glamorous surroundings of the Home Bargains car park. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to go home now and walk the dogs and unpack all of this and um, go back into the manicness nosity not a word, manicness, I like it, manicness nosity that is my current home for the next few days. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.